Hi, my name is Casey. Uh, I'm an attorney and I'm here to share my spinal CSF leak story. My life pre-leak, uh, I would go into the gym five, six days a week. Um, I raced cars on the weekends, very active and uh, problem free. My symptoms first started showing up after I was going off-roading. After uh, I had the first uh, real intense head pain, I went to the local ER. Uh, they insisted that I did a CT uh, to check for bleeding and, and uh, see if I had a stroke. Um, they told me that it was perfectly fine and I just had migraines. Uh, I insisted that I did not, that I knew what a migraine was. Um, however, they gave me a migraine medication and sent me home. Over the next several days, I was uh, very convinced that this was not a migraine. So I immediately went back in and we had an MRI with and without contrast where they noted that yes, it appears that there is some sort of dural enhancement and we suspect that it's a CSF leak of some sort. So after I was finally referred to a neurosurgeon, I ended up having a, a series of MRIs uh, and was told to wait uh, that, and hopefully that the spinal CSF leak would self-heal. My head pain and other symptoms uh, were increasing. Uh, they increased um, as my workload was also increasing uh, and I ended up feeling worse and worse until I ended up in the ICU. Uh, they decided to do a targeted blood patch. After the patch, I ended up with uh, a rebound high pressure headache. Uh, they ended up treating it with medication. Uh, the pressure went back down and, and generally I felt pretty good at that point. But by the end of that first work week, I knew that I was leaking again. And so I immediately called my doctor and my neurosurgeon, pressured them and said, I need anything that you guys can give me. Let's figure out an answer. Uh, and they suggested that we try a non-targeted patch. The non-targeted patch gave me relief for about an hour. I knew that I needed to get better. Um, and I, I, I wanted it now. I, I didn't want to continue to live life in pain. I had um, two DSMs in order to uh, pinpoint the location. Uh, the surgeon was able to analyze the images and came back and was confident the leak was right at T1 and T2 on the anterior side. Right after I got out of surgery, uh, my head felt great. Uh, my body, on the other hand, uh, was quite sore. Uh, back pain was intense uh, and I had some numbness in my legs. I ended up having to use a, a walker for uh, several weeks uh, and a cane for several weeks after that. Now, six months post-surgery, uh, I rarely, if ever, uh, think that I have any issues with my head at all. I mean, I feel fantastic. One of the things when I was leaking was uh, I lost hope that I would never be able to do the things that I loved. And so I want to show people that you can return back and do the things that you love. And so uh, don't lose hope, uh, continue to push and find treatment. There are centers of excellence out there that can help you, that can provide treatment. So stick with it. Um, there are others that have suffered and have recovered. Uh, so don't, don't lose hope.